Welcome to The Score, my name is Martin Apier and we are joined again by two of your favorite MPBL players, both of them coming from the Imus Bandera. First, let me introduce to you basketball player and actor Mr. Gerald Anderson. What's up guys? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and next, joining him here is former PBA MVP and PBA champion Mr. JJ Heltebrand. Welcome to The Score guys. Welcome to The Score. Okay, I'm gonna start uh, things off on a light note here. And let's talk about your basketball background first. Bata pala ako when I was really young, but uh, I fell in love with the sports, the gen son. Because okay. there's only two things you do in gen and it's boxing or it's basketball. So and chose basketball. I chose basketball. Okay. Doon ako na in love the sport, I play every day. Kahit naka-chinelas na kami, hmm. minsan lupa pa yung court. So, uh, Who influenced you? Yeah. Just yung kami, friends. Uh, uh, okay. I think it's, well, you know, it's the number one sport sa bansa natin. Everybody's playing basketball. Right. Lahat ng kanto may court. So, uh, my ring, kumbaga, and um, yeah, yun yung naging bonding na mga kaibigan. I got sa na in-love sa sport and until now. But which was like the first time you actually joined a competitive league? Yes. Oh, like in high school? High, high school, school, yeah, I played high school basketball uh, sa Jensen. Okay. But then uh, when I was 16, 17, uh, pumasa ko sa bahay ni Kuya, sa BBB. Uh -huh. And then, yun, doon like nag-stop lahat ng okay. uh, yung competitive basketball. So, puro pickup games, celebrity games. Mm -hmm. And last season, your first uh, ever ganun ka-competitive na um, basketball league na sinali. Okay. It prepared me for this season. More of that later on. But you first, JJ, how did you start <coughs> playing basketball from? Oh, man. What were your beginning? I, I understand I, you came from the States, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually started late, man. The okay. first time I played... Uh, Competitive assorted basketball was on a uh, freshman year high school now. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, I didn't even know the rules, but I knew I loved to play. Cause okay. yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Favorite player ko dati si you know, Michael Jordan. Michael I Jordan. Think everyone's uh, role yeah. model, but when I saw him play, I was like, man, I wanna, I wanna be like this guy. So high school, high that's school, the first yeah. time you picked up the basketball? First time I played assorted basketball. Oh, okay. And then after that, you know, obviously you played every day in the streets. But when was like the decision? When you made the decision that you wanted this to be your thing? Um, yeah, when I first started playing, man. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just knew this is what I wanted to do. I, I, I can remember um, telling myself, I'm going to make a pro. Mm -hmm. But my first goal was... NBA. Yeah. That was NBA. always my okay. yeah, National yeah. Basketball Association. And I was just like, man, I can do it. I can do it. I, I want to be the first Filipino yeah. to, you know, to make it. But, you know, God has other plans and uh, it, it turned out well. Um, you know, I had a great career in the PBA. I'm very happy how my career turned out. And now I'm here in the PBA. I'm trying to keep it going. <laughs> but, okay, you came from the States before. That's where you started. But what prompted you to go back to the Philippines? and pursue it here? Well, I, uh, I was playing in, in a tournament in Chicago. Uh, okay. uh, it was called Pidna, uh, Filipino tournament. Uh, a guy in, in uh, one of the scouts there saw me play, and he asked me if I wanted to play here in, 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 in Manila. Got home, and he gave me another call. He told me to send him a, a tape, a highlight tape. And so I did, and then he told me once he saw my highlight tape that I was... Uh, it's literally a tape, enough. right? Yeah, VHS tape. Wow, it's so like awesome. Yeah, this was uh, after uh, college already. After college, yeah. yeah. And then... There's uh, no YouTube, eh. there's no mixtape. Eh. Uh, Instagram, there's no... He said to me, I don't know, can you first play on this? That's it. I told him, okay, it's okay, I'll try out. So I came here, tried out with Ginevra. Uh, first day. Okay now. I was a direct hire. Oh. Back, at, back at that time, there was a direct hire. There was a rule: is it if you played in the NBA one game, okay. you was already considered a professional. A professional league. Okay. So that's when I, I played for Batangas for one game. Oh, Next okay. day, I was in Barangay in Okay, so it was a direct deal for you. Direct. Okay, but for you, Gerald. What's I'm, funny is, bata pa ako. Never. Uh, I never had aspirations for the NBA. It was uh, always PBA. Mm. Like everybody, you know, like everybody wants to play in the NBA. Uh, Since I was there, it was always the PBA. PBA, you always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sayang. No, seriously, me and my brother, we, 
you know, I mean, that's why I wear number three. It's actually because of Iverson. Yeah. So didn't they know but I'm a basketball, but it was always PBA for some mm. reason. I don't know. So AI is your basketball. Yeah, right? same, yeah same yeah, inspiration. Wow, okay. But yeah, I don't know how you do it though. Uh, being a basketball player and you know, juggling it with That's with, what he's always asking. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. That's tough. It's a secret man. It's it's um no yeah. like you can see if 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 there's something that you really want you find ways. Love, yeah, love yeah. for the game man. Yeah and, um the, So you sacrifice sleep I sacrifice day. sleep. Uh -huh. After this I go uh, I go straight to taping. Uh -huh. Um taping uh oh, new soap so um yeah, but like I said, kapag gusto mo talaga, lagi may paraan. Yes. And how are you finding all of this so far? I mean... Oh, it's amazing. It's a different... It's it's also a... It's also a getaway from, you know, my showbiz uh, life and uh, all the hectic schedules and stress. And uh, uh, people say, it's like, why don't you just rest? Use that time to rest. Why do you practice pa? Bakit ka naglalaro pa? Hey, this is... This is resting to me. Right. This is what makes me feel better and keeps me sane. So when you practice, you you don't actually get tired. I mean, like this. Is no, it's I mean physically tired. Yeah, yeah but it's but not you part of you know I'm drained. No, it's it's it actually gives me more energy. Yeah. And uh, the two worlds complement each other. Showbiz world and what I'm doing here, it's because uh, like after this, I'll have enough energy to go back to tape. You've been an Hin Hinebra player for life. Napping, because I understand it's the most. Like magnified team in the PBA because of the following attack. So how is that? Like spending all of years, all of your years there. Ang gawa yun eh. Like free throw siya sa imus. Pinebra. Pinebra siya siya kaya. I mean that just shows the loyalty of the fans. Uh, once you're, once a Jin King, you're always a Jin King. Right? Um, the fans are the reason why um, we're out there giving it their all. That's why we go out there and. You know, we try to kill ourselves on the court mm -hmm. just so, so we can um, provide a great show and to win for these fans because they're really affected, bro. When when we lose, some of them cry. Some of them they don't even eat. To spend my whole my whole career there was just an amazing amazing experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I won't change it for anything. Since, since you mentioned your new teammates already, you first, JJ. Um, what made you decide to unretire and come back? And play for the MPBL. Actually, man, it's just simple, man. I mean, I still got the love for the game. I have the passion for the game, and most of all, is I missed it.